In this video, I'll show you how to use an email template to send an email using Power Automate. So just to give you a context, like I've created a model driven app. Now here in model driven app, I have this custom table so named as hospitals. And I have also created a couple of sections and then uh, surfaced out a couple of tables like email messages and email templates. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you just need to go into the backend table and try searching for email. Okay. Now, once you search for email, you will get two tables like email and email template. And you just add that in your model driven app and it will list down the email messages and the list of email templates. So if you want to see all the email message, you just click on all emails. And if you want to see email templates here, you will see all the email template. Now, how do you send an email template uh, emails? Uh, using Microsoft Power Automate. So first you need to have an email template. So let's create an email template. So if I click on new and here I can specify my template. So I'll just say power tech spec email template. So I'm just creating any custom template. Okay. And permission level, let me give it as an organization level category. I'm not going to change. It's at a user level and I'll click create. So this is a simple template I'm creating. I can specify what subject I want. So PTS welcome to subscription. And I will just type in hello viewers. Welcome to the channel. So and just put some signature component, right? Say PTS. Now here I have an option to further uh, fine tune it. I will just uh, make like it's a rich text box so I can make it more fancy, but I don't have time for that. So I'm not going to make any change. I'll just click on save. So Power Deck spec email template is a template which I have. Now the important part is you need to make sure that this is the template ID. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this template ID because this is important for you to take that template and then send across as an email. Okay, now there are multiple options in Power Automate. So what I'm going to do is I will click on new flow. So I'm in make.powerautomate.com and here let me uh, trigger it by uh, manual trigger. So this one is send email from template. Manually trigger a flow and click on create. Now here manually trigger a flow new and just type in unbound. So you will find an action perform an unbound action. And then from here you will be able to send an email. Okay. So perform an unbound action. If you select on this drop value, uh, and then if you just search email, you will get two options, send email from template and MS Dyn send email from template. Both does the same thing, but syntactically both are different. So I'm going to just show you both how it operates and then you can pick and choose what you want. Now, there is a subtle difference between both of this. So first, let me pick up send email from template. Okay. So send email from template here. If I select this. There is an option like item slash target and item template ID and item regarding. Now here you need to specify the JSON. Now what that JSON is, if you want to send this email from where are you going to send? So from whom you're going to send to, if you are marking anyone a copy CC or blind carbon copy, so BCC. So you specify a JSON and then you put that over here. Okay. Now in that JSON, the JSON also has some sort of a format. Okay. So you need to build that JSON. So with this approach, you may need to do some hard work. Okay. Now template ID, template ID, we know the template ID of this particular uh, template, which we are going to use. So FTD over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste the template ID over here. So send email from template here. I need to just specify the template ID. Now regarding, now if you want to send that email and link it with any specific object, you need to explicitly specify that. Now, if I go into the tables over here and let me go into the contact. Okay. So this is uh, a contact table. Now say take, for example, if I want to link it to say this person, uh, Alfreda. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this ID of that specific contact. OK, so I need this ID and then I will go here in the flow, paste this ID. Now, this will not suffice because we need to give the uh, the contact set name. So I'll just copy the set name and I'll paste the set name. So the set name is contacts, put a slash, and then this is how you form the syntax. So template ID, contact. Now for a JSON, what you need to do is like you need to form that JSON. Okay, so you need to specify from, you need to specify to, and you need to specify CC, BCC. Now I have written that piece of code and I'll explain you what it is. Now this, I will put it in my GitHub repository and then you can refer from there. So this is a piece of code. Now here, how do you read this is first is this is a object email activity parties. And within that, there are a couple of things happening. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Now here, if you see one, two, three, four, one means from, so this is from, and this is two, and this is CC, and this is BCC. Now I've just put only one value. You can put multiple value in two CC and BCC, okay? Now, when I say I just put one value means I'm talking about this part. So if you see over here, it is pointing to some value, right? So it is pointing to system users. So system users table and the value C5A90 from where I'm getting this value. So if I go into tables over here and if I just type in user, so there is a table called as a user table, which the internal name is system user. So user. And from here, I can pick whatever value I want. So whom I want to send. So I'm just picking Girish over here. So that's why you see this value C5A. You can pick up any other value, say within your organization, if you want to send it to someone, you can send across and then, you know, let me clear this filter and then you will see a whole bunch of list over here, right? You can send it to anyone. But in my case, I'm just gonna uh, filter by my name. So I'll just say filter contains Girish. And then you will see this value C5A. And that's the same value I'm adding over here, C5A. So essentially in this code, from is Girish, to is Girish, CC is Girish and uh, BCC is Girish. Okay, so this is the code. So what we have done, we have added the template ID. We have linked that to one of the contacts, 655, right? Now that contact is say Alfreda, okay? Now let's run this code and see. So I'll just click on save. Test, manual test. And now this code has run successfully. Now, if you want to see what email it has sent, navigate to your model driven app or in the backend system, go to email messages. And then from here, go to all emails. And then you will see PTS welcome to subscription. So and so from this to this. And now regarding is Alfreda because we have picked that user, right? So from to CC, BCC subject, and you got this email and regarding is also connected. Okay, so this is how you can basically use an email using an email template. Now let's go one step more. Let's see the other options also. Okay. Now in this example, I have just said two as one user, right? Now, if I want to have multiple users, I can copy the same code, comma, put participation type mask as two, and then add other users. So I can add multiple users over here. Now, remember, writing JSON and writing, doing all this thing, it's a bit complicated, right? And if you want to have a dynamic content, then it will be pretty much difficult to use this particular uh, unbound action. So instead of that, you can also do the same thing. Like if you just type in unbound and go to perform an unbound action. Now here, I'll just type in email and instead of now send email from template, now I'm gonna pick up send email from template. Okay, now 
send email from template show all now here the difference is you have an option not to operate on json but use uh, like a uh, just put some text over here so you see the from you see two two is kind of an array so if you see over here it's basically an array so you can add multiple value in two for cc you can add multiple value similarly for bcc you can add multiple value now with regards to template now one thing you need to remember in the previous example we have just added the template id but in this case we may need to do something else okay so i'll go to tables and i'll just type in email and if you go to email template now we just need to understand that the templates set name we just need to copy it and paste over here so that's template slash and what is the template name so email template the one which we created power tech spec email template go over here copy the template id so I'm just copying the template ID and then pasting over here. With regards to regarding, you remember we just copied the contacts. Now this time let's pick up a different contact. So this time I'm gonna pick Ailey Beeling. Okay, so I'm just copy this ID and I'll say put the regarding for this particular user. And for two CC from, we just need to make use of system users slash and then the id now from where i'm getting system users i'm getting it from the user table so uh, as i showed to you go to tables type in user here and then i'm just picking up my value just to show you this example so system users here if i copy the set name it will copy the set name and then that set name is basically system users and i'm gonna pick this id c5 aa925 okay so i'm just copy this and I'll just paste over here. Similarly, in this array, what we can do in double quotes, we can paste the same value. And if you want different users, change the ID and it will send that email to different users, okay? So I'm gonna show that also. Uh, so if you want to add one more item, say you want to send it to some other ID also. So let me clear the filter over here and let me send it to, let me see if I have some dummy id to send across to so i have lee Gu. so i'm gonna pick lee Gu's id so i'll just copy this and i'm gonna paste over here so two it should go to lee as well and i'm gonna copy this part paste here Now, what I've done is I have added from, I have added to, I have added uh, two. There are a couple of two users. There is one CC and then is one BCC. So let me save this and test it. So it has executed successfully. So let me go into the email messages and then see what's happening. So I'll go to all emails. And then as you see, there are a couple of emails sent. All One is related to Alfreda and another is related to Ailey. So these are the a couple of new items which has been sent. If I go into the second email, you will see that it is sent to two and it is sent to a couple of people like Giresh and Lee. So this is how you can send multiple uh, emails like you can send an email to multiple people by marking two and cc so basically this is an array so here if we use the perform an unbound action and use ms dine underscore send email from template you will get an option to pass on an array now you can use microsoft power automate uh, array variable to generate an array so generate an array of set of users and then you can pass on as a parameter to either two cc or bcc 
So out of this two approach, there are two approach, send email from template and then MS Stein underscore send email from template. I would say this one is a much better approach, but you need to be cautious about using from a syntax perspective. Now here, as you see for template, you are just specifying the ID here for template. You are actually specifying the set name slash the ID. So this is an important distinction regarding as proper that same regarding as same and the item slash target you need to actually form a json here you need not form a json if you have an array variable you can use that and then you can send across the email as a template so that's it folks this is how you can send email from a template using two different options for unbound action thanks for watching